Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Two people are dead and another in critical condition tonight after a gunman opened fire at a Bunomatix warehouse on Stevenson Drive. The suspected shooter found dead in a different county, leaving the community in shock and investigators piecing together what led to the shooting. And we're bringing you team coverage tonight. We start with News Channel 20's Noel Ford with what we know right now. Noel. Well, I am still here on Stevenson Drive outside of the bun o -Matic building. So you can see there really isn't too much of a police presence here anymore. There's only about two police cars behind me. But this was a different story earlier here today. There was a heavy police presence here from around 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. This part of Stevenson Drive was completely blocked off. Now, police do say that Collins shot three employees at around 11 this morning at this building. Two men are dead. The third victim, a woman, is in critical condition in the hospital. Police and first responders evacuated people from inside the building. Now we saw people filing out of the Bun building and getting onto city buses. They were surrounded by police wearing bulletproof vests. Now we are still waiting on the identities of these victims. There is an autopsy scheduled for tomorrow. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Noel Ford, News Channel 20 at 6. Thank you, Noel. Now the suspected shooter has been identified as Michael Collins, who was found dead in Morgan County just hours after the shooting. We continue our team coverage now with News Channel 20's Devin Truby, who is live where his body was discovered. And Devin, what have you learned tonight? Just moments ago, the scene here in Morgan County declared clear as the car Collins used to flee the scene of the shooting has been towed away. Now we're just off of Highway 67. We are at the intersection here of Leach Farm Road and Potter's Road as well. Now what we do know is that Michael Collins is a 48-year-old Springfield man and that the car was possibly a blue-colored pickup truck that was headed westward on Leach Farm Road and when it was found in a ditch. Now Morgan County Sheriff tells us that the call went out around around 1.20 p.m., and we do know that Mike Collins was pronounced dead at 1.49 p.m. as well. The scene has been cleared. The road is now open for use. The cones and blockades have been removed as well. Now, Springfield Police has confirmed that Collins is dead, but they have not yet told us the cause of death. We'll continue to keep you updated on this scene. Again, Morgan County scene is closed. They're in the paperwork portion of this investigation right now in Morgan County. Back to you.